Um, Elliot asks a fairly long question, but let's go through the whole thing and let's see if we can get out of this. I have a question about finding the appropriate time of day to train. Um, we'll just stop there. And one thing I've discovered, Elliot, for me, the rhythm of the time of day is the most important. When I was a school student, after school was always when we trained. So when I was a teacher, I always trained after school before I did anything else. When I became, uh, or ran my own business, became an administrator, I had to start training in the morning. When my daughters were young, I used to train while making dinner. So I appreciate the question instantly because I've been there. Ever since I started working a desk job five years ago, I made the conscious decision to do something for myself before I sat down to work every day. And since then, I've always trained in the mornings, usually yoga and crawling for the first four years and mostly kettlebells for the past year, four to six times a week. Well, Elliot, that is good for you. The morning sessions were a great boost to my energy and readiness throughout the day. But lately, I find that those morning sessions don't give me the same boost. And some time for readiness upon waking, it's just not there. Yeah, that's called life. And uh, the workouts feel more rote than exciting. I'm sure the solution is just to try training after my shift and see what happens. See, I don't know if I agree with you, but it will continue reading. But I find that my mind and body tend to be wiped out after a day of putting out fires and staring at a screen. One of the things that helped me a lot when I was an administrator is I would take, oh, at least five minutes an hour to not only stand up, walk around, get another cup of coffee, but I would also go online, uh, this is when the internet first started, and go to a forum. And uh, we had this great one called Old School. Uh, Vulcan Power is another great one too. None, none of them exist anymore because of trolls. And, but or even uh, nowadays I go to my forum over at uh, uh, Dan John University and you read a question or two or you read a response and it, it really did get me excited to train when I had to train at about 5.15 every night. That's so if you can, if you can get up every hour or so, get some water, get coffee, whatever, walk around a little bit, look at something that kind of is training related, that helped me immensely. Uh, I was wondering if you have any suggestions for someone like me who's interested in building a better body through kettlebell training, but struggles to find the oomph in the early morning hours or to put in some hard sessions after a long day. Well, there's two basic questions here. How to build a better body <laughs> with kettlebells and the other part is, you know, how to get yourself motivated. The nice thing about the kettlebells, and if you want a better body with kettlebells, I think the answer is press the press family and the variations. Uh, I love I, my favorite is the double kettlebell press. Now it's funny because two weeks ago I said it was the, the the half kneeling press, and tomorrow I'll say it's another press. But press, 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 and the other one is the double kettlebell front squat. Those are your money workouts. If you want to build a better body with kettlebells, double kettlebell front squats, double presses. Um, you can do what I do and play around with this rep scheme two, three, five to get stronger. So a set of two, rest, set of three, rest, set of five, rest, set of two, rest, set of three, rest, set of five, rest. If you do that a few rounds, you'll quickly find yourself up to 20, 30, 40, 50 reps. And if you want more hypertrophy, a very simple thing you can do is two, three, five, ten. 10, especially if you have lighter belts. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm doing this thousand press challenge. I invented it. I'm doing two, three, five, ten for uh, five loops for, for 10 workouts. Um, and I'm just gonna try to build barnyard wide shoulders. Um, you could also do that with a double kettlebell front squat. And I think if you did just those two exercises, good things would happen. One thing I'm going to suggest to you is that the nice thing about those two, two lifts too is that you're not going to put a lot of pressure on the parts of your body that don't like training in the morning. Many people I talk to will tell me that like their spine and even their ab wall doesn't like early morning training. I found that interesting, especially the ab wall thing because I, I, 
I never thought of it before. I know some bodybuilders used to get up and do like a thousand crunches or something first thing in the morning. And, and good for them. But for me, uh, that's something I've, I've never even thought of doing. So, so to increase your body comp, the double press and the double front squat. But you don't want to do that five to six times a week. So maybe what you simply need is a little bit of a little mild change up. So maybe two days a week, it's double kettlebell press, double kettlebell front squat. Maybe one day a week, if you know how to do it, uh, it could be, uh, well, this is a great idea. Just snatches, just kettlebell snatches. Um, um, I would suggest maybe in our gym, that would be a Tuesday workout. One day a week, nothing but mobility. Uh, you didn't talk about time here, but one of the nice things about uh, doing mobility work, just a mobility workout, we do an original strength workout on Tonic Thursday for about an hour, just mobility, is that the the next day and the next day and the next day, we, we continue to have the benefits of a whole body mobility check-in. So depending on how your schedule works out, and you know, you, I mean, we're talking about doing four to six days a week. Let's let's just stick with four. So two days a week, do that double press and double front squat idea I gave you. Uh, I would maybe go, if you're gonna do two, three, five, that's 10 reps per round. You know, work that into, you know, maybe the first or second workouts, stick with just two or three rounds of those. So 20 to 30 total reps. If you're gonna do the two, three, five, ten, 10, uh, maybe go two rounds the first time because that's gonna be 40 reps. And then build that up to, uh, to 60, 80, and, or like I'm doing every so often. Like maybe once a month you could do 100. Uh, and don't forget you're gonna do the same for the front squats. So err on a little bit less because doing 100 front squats in a workout, it's gonna be tough. So two days a week, the double press, the double front squat, one day a week, uh, nothing but mobility. And then one day a week, either something like snatches, if you know how to do Turkish get-ups, that, that'd be fine too, what, you know, whatever you do. So a mobility day, and then uh, either a high endurance day like the, like the snatch, or just a general strength movement like the Turkish get-up. If you are gonna do six days a week, and you see where the snatch you're gonna head, two to three days a week of that strength and bodybuilding program of the presses and squats, one day a week of snatches, okay? One day a week of mobility, and one day a week of the Turkish get-up. Um, the nice thing is there's a ton, ton of variation. And by the way, the Turkish get-up workout, um, you know, Pat Flynn and I talk about this all the time. Five to 10 reps is probably all you need, you know? Uh, don't lose your mind on those uh, if you wanna <laughs> be able to do anything else the next day. Uh, good question. So let's let's review. If you want to build a better body with kettlebells, I think the double press and the double kettlebell front squat, two, three, five, or two, three, five, ten, and do a couple of rounds of that is the best thing you can possibly do for hypertrophy work, body composition work with kettlebells. In the situation you find yourself in, I think you need more variation on the mornings. Uh, I'd love to see you do that that body composition, that press and squat workout, and then add a tonic day, an original strength and mobility day, and then another day of either Turkish get-ups or snatches, and if you want to extend it to more days a week, do both. On that Turkish get-up day, five to 10 minutes might be all you need. On that snatch day, <laughs> if you don't, <laughs> if you decide to do 100 or 200 snatches, it's only gonna take you five to 10 minutes and you will be cursing my name uh, somewhere, uh, maybe while you're still sweating four hours later at your meeting. That's a good question, my friend. I really appreciate that, Elliot.